Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to talk about an illustration of a monitor using the dining philosopher's problem that will give us a deadlock free solution to the system. How will we implement this monitor when we are solution addressing to the dining philosopher's problem? What are the states and what are the cons that we have to keep in mind while solution giving to them? We can illustrate the use of a monitor using this dining philosopher solution to address to a deadlock free solution. Now when we are talking about a deadlock free solution, we have to think that the dining philosopher's philosopher may grab her chopsticks when both available to is. Now we may to recall that the dining philosopher's problem is a problem with five philosophers sitting in a circular table with five chairs associated with each of the philosopher. In the center of the table there contains a bowl of rice and each philosopher can eat only if it grabs the chopsticks from her and her left and right neighbors so that he can chopsticks grabbing for two and then can eat and again start thinking after eating. So now to quote this situation where a philosopher will only grab a chopstick when both are available to him. Now we want to quote this with the three states that can be a philosopher attached to. They can be eating, hungry or thinking. So now we will see a data structure that can be put down to describe this definition. So here we can see a data structure enum that is an enumerated data structure associated with an array of state which is assigned to five philosophers. Now the philosopher can go only eating if both of her levers chopsticks are freed. That can be written as state i is equal to eating if both the neighbors from the chopsticks are freed according to this structure. So we are putting state i is equal to eating if the neighbors that is considered as this i plus 4 mod 5 and i plus 1 mod 5 that is the left and right neighbor of the particular philosopher is not eating. So by this data structure we can delay the philosopher's access to the chopsticks if she is hungry but the chopsticks are not available to them. We are now in a position to describe the dining philosopher's problem to illustrate with the help of a monitor. Here each philosopher's distribution of chopsticks can be continued and controlled by the monitor named as dining philosopher. Each philosopher before grabbing a chopstick has to invoke the pickup operation. Now the pickup operation can be done after satisfying this if condition. Now the condition if it is not satisfied then it will delay the philosopher's process. After this philosopher is grabbed both of her chopstick then she can perform the eating without putting this state i is equal to waiting. Now after finished eating it has to perform the put down operation. Now the pick up operation and put down operation has to be in a following sequence. If the sequence is maintained then the monitor can perform successfully. Now upon successful completion of the monitor's performance which we will now discuss you can see that the no two neighbors are eating together. 
Now the system is in deadlock free solution. However, that a process of waiting for the chopsticks to become available make a process tough to death. Now we will see a coding of the monitor dining philosopher to actually having solution to this dining philosopher's problem. Now along with the enumerated data structure state that we have already described about the state that a philosopher can belong to, it is assigning a condition variable array that is self, which will describe the philosopher's process in this entire monitor. Now we are defining the pickup operation of this monitor. The pickup operation is introducing with the parameter of integer i that is the philosopher's number associated with the program. Now the philosopher will grab only the chopstick if she is hungry. So we have to put the state of the philosophers to hungry. Now we want to test this function with the test i that will check that if both the available chopsticks are presented to the philosopher or not. And if the test returns a non-zero that is not a not a successful operation, then if the state i is not equals to eating means the processors of the philosopher has to wait until and unless both of the chopsticks are available to them. Then we are putting a spell phi to the wait operation. As we know that the wait and signal can only be performed on the condition variable, here the self variable and we are putting the self variable of that particular philosopher to put it into the wait state. Now we will see that what happens with the put down function. Now in this put down function, first we are checking that the philosopher has completed its eating part or not. If it is not eating, then we are putting the philosopher's state to thinking. Now we will test that the chopsticks are released or not by this test function of the left neighbor and by this test function of the right neighbor. Now we will see that what happens actually in this test operation. So in the test operation, we are using a consecutive if statement with the two statements. First, we are checking that the left neighbor has a release chopstick or not by this operation. Now, if it is not eating and has a release chopstick, then we are checking that the philosopher which has invoked the test operation is hungry or not. If it is hungry and also the right chopstick is also available to him, then we are putting the state i equals to eating. That means the philosopher now can eat without blocking or preempted. And it has entered its critical section. Now we are also putting the signal operation by the self i invocation. 
while their operation is MEC, it is informing the operating system that it has finished its eating and it has put bin pop from the waiting block to the state block. Now we will see the smart initialization code according to this. In the initializing code, as we know that all the philosophers at the time of starting are put into the thinking state, so we are using a loop of for that is used for 0 to less than 5 and all the philosophers are now put into the thinking state. That's starting the dining philosophers problem. So that is the monitor that is illustrating a date free solution but not a starvation free solution to the dining philosophers problem. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.